from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Really? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I'm your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Wide open telephones on the Tom Like Your Show. At 1-800-5-800-TOM. It's 1-800-5-800-866. Our international number is country code 1, area code 323. The number 520-6211. That's 1-323-520-6211. That's the number to call if you're outside the United States. That will get you on the air. Let's go to your calls here. Let's say hello to Robert on the Tom Likas Show. What's going on, Dad? Do a little radio show here, son. Very nice. Uh, this is what I'm calling. I wanted to get your up, your input on uh, what you think about the Ducks possibly losing the series tonight. Well, uh, nobody who saw the Ducks uh, play this season is surprised. Uh, the uh, I think the Ducks made a uh, an error. I really do in allowing Timu Solane and Scott Edemeyer to take their time deciding if they wanted to come back. Uh, as good as they were as players, the Ducks should have said, you've got 10 days at the beginning of the season, and after that, we're moving on. You know, I, I totally agree with you. You know, I am I am a Ducks fan, and, you know, and I kind of, I was a little upset that they got to take their sweet-ass time um, deciding if they wanted to come back or not. They should have given them, like, no more than two weeks. In the process, uh, in trying to squeeze Timu Solani back on the team, they they had to get rid of Andy McDonald. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, of course, they lost Dustin Penner, which didn't help them either. Uh, but, uh, you know, they got Matthew Schneider to replace uh, Niedermeyer, and they got, uh, uh, what's-his-face, Bertuzzi to replace uh, Timu Solani, essentially. Yeah, they did. And then, and then when these guys decided to come back, they had to start, you know, squeezing the team down. Yeah, I and mean, it's kind of funny because they got rid of McDonald to get Dougie Waite, and now Doug Waite's probably going to go back to St. Louis anyway next season. Just well, to on top of that, let's face it, Doug Waite, Matthew Schneider, and Todd Bertuzzi are old. And so you lost Dustin Penner and Andy McDonald, who were good young players. One yeah. you lost directly as a, as a result of, of Solani and Niedermeyer deciding to take their sweet time coming back. And uh, the other you lost to, uh, uh, you know, restricted free agency. And uh, so uh, clearly this was not the same team the Ducks had last year. They were anywhere between five and seven different players on the team at any given time. They yeah. also gave away Brisgala for essentially nothing. Yeah, that was definitely a steal. I'm, I'm actually... a uh... I, you know, I was a big Brizzy fan, and I'm surprised that uh, that they did what they did. But, you know, I guess that's what happens when you're under the salary cap. Well, uh, he wasn't even that expensive. The bottom line was he was asking to play, and Brian Burke did him a favor. I let him go for a bag of pucks. And the uh, uh, fact is, uh, I don't know how many people remember last season, although I, I'm a Kings fan. I, I also follow the Ducks, and uh, because the, the Kings have been in the cellar, I, I always root for the Ducks to do well. And... Um, Brizgalov played some important games last season. Yeah, he did. A year ago, including in the playoffs. And, uh, you know, I don't think uh, that Hiller, the backup they, they've had, has been as good. So uh, it's very hard, by the way, uh, in today's National Hockey League for any team to repeat. Who was the last team to win back-to-back -back cups? It was uh, Red Wings back in 88-89. Yeah, that's 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah. So it's very hard to repeat, and we've seen teams like uh, Tampa Bay Lightning or the Carolina Hurricanes fall off a cliff. We've seen that happen. Yep. The New York Rangers. Teams that have won oh, yeah. it uh, the next year almost never do nearly as well. So many of them don't even make the playoffs the next year. Yeah, you're right. But uh, next year, the Ducks have got to say that on, on opening day, first of all, we're not going to play in Europe. <laughs> and, and second of all, the 20 players on the roster are the 20 players we're playing with, and that's that. Yeah. 
Hey, Tom, uh, before I go, I was wondering if you could take me out Terrell Owens style. Uh, I've only heard it a couple times, and I thought it was the best one ever. Which one now? Uh, T.O. Can you take me out T.O. style? T.O.? Yep, Terrell Owens. Oh, Terrell Owens. All right, uh, Terrell Owens style, which was uh, uh, now artist looking for it. What is it again? It was him crying after they lost in the playoffs. It was talking about how, how uh, they shouldn't blame his quarterback. Oh, that's right. We had, like, a uh, Terrell Owens uh, clip. It was like an actuality of Terrell Owens. <laughs> yeah. We we it, looks, it looks like it didn't make it through the cut here. It looks like it, uh, it isn't running anymore. A little too topical. Some of these things are so topical, people don't remember. Them. Even, like, I, for example, I am the host of this show. I'm the one person, uh, along with Art, who hears every minute of every show, and I don't remember that. So... Anyway, thank you, though, for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, David. How's it going, Father? How you doing? It's going great, son. Good, good. Um, well, I got a little problem here. Uh, I'm a Leo, as well as you, and I have a problem with emotional attachment. I just got a 23-year-old girl pregnant. Why did you do I that? <laughs> I don't know. I just... Made the wrong decisions, I guess you could say. And uh, what do you mean you made the wrong decision? Why weren't you using a condom? Uh, just stupid, just stupid. I guess you could say. Stupid. Well, it's better feeling too without. Yeah, well, how's it gonna feel to pay twenty-one years of child support? I'm twenty-one years old myself. So how's it gonna feel to pay twenty-one years of child support? That's if she goes after me for child support. She'll go after you for child support. Trust me. You 21 so? years of child support. That's right. 21 years. It is, is 30 seconds of ejaculation worth 21 years of child support. Oh, man. Oh, man. Does well, it feel, how's that feel? Does it feel go good? And, and, huh? Does that feel good? You you wanted it to feel good. Does that <laughs> feel good? <laughs> it did at the time. Yeah? How's it feeling now? Yeah, I don't know. Now I'm just uh, an emotional wreck. I'm also emotionally yeah. attached to another girl as well, and... Why are you, you know, getting emotionally attached to anybody? You're 21 years old. You you already knocked one up. But like I said, man, I'm a Leo. We get easily That has nothing to do with it. Don't like, that is such a lame excuse using your horoscope as the reason for doing something. You're an idiot. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It Take responsibility. responsibility. Take God some goddamn it. responsibility for what you do. Take some. Take what? Some goddamn responsibility. Yeah, I know. I mean, I wanted to try and keep my family together, but things just weren't working what out. What family? <laughs> what family? The one that I supposedly had coming. <sighs> so now I'm stuck in a rut and need a little advice on what to do here. Uh, my advice is stop dating anybody and start learning how to take responsibility. Okay, well, I got a union job. That's the first piece of responsibility I got going for. Yeah, well, you know, what would have really been responsible is instead of boning chicks without a condom, you'd have been going to college. So you've been irresponsible. Yeah, very irresponsible, I know. Getting college, a, wasn't, college wasn't a thing for me, though. I mean, I tried to go, and it just... Uh, it yeah, but boning and smoking weed were more important. Uh, I quit smoking weed, too. I'm a month sober. Well, then, oh, a month, a whole month. But boning and smoking weed was the reason you didn't want to go to college. <laughs> I didn't smoke weed when I first started going. Whatever. So I'm telling you the truth, Tom. I was straight as... Fine. Also, boning was more important. Okay. The point is, you idiot, boning was more important. Now stop being a brick. Yeah, I know. Boning was more important. Than right. Actually. Yeah, yeah. It had nothing to do with college being too difficult. You were lazy, and you were more into boning. That's now crazy. you're gonna pay. I've had a lot of long. Now you're years. going to hell. You're gonna pay, right? It's gonna be hey, hell on earth. I'm not going to hell. You're already halfway there. Wait till that baby is born, and she wants money that you don't have. Yeah, I know. I know. If anything, I'm already in hell. That's right. That's what I was just telling you when you were arguing with me. <laughs> it's hard to take it all in. It's hard to take it all in. <laughs> no, it is. It's so hard. <laughs> so I'm calling for advice and hear what I can. Yeah, but advice on here. what? what yeah, you, first of all, you ignore all the good advice I give you on a regular basis on this program. Yeah, I know. I listen to you all the time. That's great. That's it. You listen to me all the time. So let's see. Uh, we tell you, you all the I ways. To you, but I don't. We tell you all the ways to prevent fire. Okay? Uh -huh. so, so you take the gasoline can and you pour it over your gas stove. 
and the house is now burning down. And so now you get to call 911 to ask for fire prevention tips. Oh, man. No, well, well, my next question, though, is as far as I'm concerned, I'm the one who's got stability and a good job. You do not have stability. You don't have crap. How much money do you, How much money do you make? How much money do I make? Hourly? Salary? Or what? What do you A yearly? What else? 19000 a year right now. 19000 well, You got the stability all right, pal. I mean, she don't have a job. She don't have anything going for her. She doesn't have a place of residency or anything. So I'm wondering how would I be able to get full custody of my child? <laughs> First of all, you don't even know if this child will ever be born. Yeah. She's here November 5th. November 5th? Correct. All right, so that, secondly, as a full custody of your child, who is this person even? Who is she? She's just the girl I was dating for a while and happened to knock up. Right. Well, you'll need to hire an attorney. The air. I, you know, I'm amazed when people curse and say, I'm sorry, like half a second later. They knew exactly what they were doing, no, and they I'm do not, it anyway. I, mean, I, did, I didn't mean to. I did it without knowing. Subconsciously. You knew. <laughs> I'm not trying to curse. I know I'm not supposed to. I've been holding back a lot. I curse all the time, all day. And I've been trying to hold back just for you, Tom. Gee, thanks. It's uh, it's really hard, though. By the way, $19,000 a year is crap. Yeah, I know. I'm working my way up the ladder. I got five years. What ladder? What do you do for a living? I'm a union plumber. Wow. Everybody's always going to need a plumber. Wow! <laughs> 19000 a year! I barely started in November, this recent November of 07. So what were you doing before that? Uh, before that, I was working for a title company, and you know what? what a what there. company? A title company. A you title know company? A title company. What were you doing uh, there? Uh, I was basically just the copy boy and the errand boy. And boy, oh boy, you are one accomplished individual. What a resume you've got. I have no resume. It's very First, horrible. I worked at a title company <laughs> until the mortgage crisis. And a lender. Then I became an apprentice plumber for 19000 a year. Starting. And the father of a bastard child. Yeah. That's, that's great. I didn't, want. I didn't want a bastard child. Oh, yes, you did. You had sex without a condom. Because <sighs> you're an to idiot. keep the family together, but I couldn't. You can't keep the family together. There's no goddamn family. You you boned some chick and knocked her up. There's no family there. We were together for a while trying to make it work. Oh, it's trying to apart. make it work. You're an idiot. You got no money. You got no future. You got nothing going on for you. No you all you have, all you have, you're, you're just a sperm machine is what you are. You got nothing else going on over there. I have a career, though. That's, Ooh, a career. A Making $19,000 a year. Yeah, that's just starting, though. I mean, I work. Well, that's just the starting years. salary. Oh, no, yeah, no, the sky's the limit. I can go all the way up to twenty three thousand. Yeah, I make eleven ninety three a year now. Second year makes fifteen forty. Third year makes nineteen fifty, and so on and so forth until I'm a foreman. Hmm, twenty dollars an hour. That would be eight hundred a week. That'd be forty thousand dollars a year. What? How many years? Foreman, it'll be at thirty five. How many years will it take you to get to twenty dollars an hour? Wait, what was that? How many years will it take you to get to twenty dollars an hour? Three years. Three years. Three years. So in three years, you'll be at the poverty level for yourself and uh, a child and and some woman. That that's great. That's something well, the, to aspire well, the, to. The pay rate goes up. I mean, every year the union gets together and they renegotiate it. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, by the way, have you noticed there's a recession going on? Yes, I do. Have you seen the price of food lately? I have. How about the price of gasoline? Oh, I'm in my car right now. Does it really matter if they negotiate you a ten cent an hour raise? Who cares? Uh, they're trying to bump it up a dollar forty actually. Wow, we a dollar that's fifty six dollars a week. A dollar forty. We fifty six dollars. That's fantastic. <laughs> I'm not trying to make myself sound like, you know, a bad $56. You know what? I spent $56 when I had my tank three quarters full over there at the Exxon station. Well, then how do I get to where you are then, Tom? Well, first of all, let me give you a list. I didn't knock anybody up. 
I, 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 I worked hard and put money away. I planned my career out. Uh-huh. Right? And boning chicks and knocking them up was never part of the, the program. Yeah, I know what you mean. You have now tied a big boulder around your neck. Mm-hmm. Because no matter what you do, you're going to have to pay for that. Yeah, I know. I know. And you didn't even try to get her to have an abortion, which was brilliant on your I don't, I, I don't really, I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want to kill a child. Ah, I see. Well, then, so live it up. What a great life you have ahead of you. <laughs> By the way, uh, I just want you... Do you have any faith in the union, though, at all, whatsoever? No, yeah, you come over and take a look at my drip irrigation, will you? How much is that beef? I do that. I mean, we work on the, you know, bigger projects. We work on Evo Towers and Miller's Children's Hospital and Children's Hospital. Oh, you got, you got bigger fish to fry. You got bigger fish to fry. I understand. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. When our toilet gets clogged over here at the movie uh, lot, we'll uh, we'll have you come over and unclog. But I don't unclog toilets. Like I said, I fab pipe. Ooh, we. For bigger projects. Ooh, well, excuse me, Mr. I ain't Plumber. I rescued or anything. Huh? I'm not rescue rooter or anything. And by the like way, that. there's no guarantee you'll be a plumber in three years. My guess is in three years, uh, when I come in and have my tires rotated, you'll be there wearing a little Costco patch saying, yeah, sure, I'll put it up on the rack here. Oh, man. That's you. Negativity. That's your future. How so, though? How could you because be they're basing it on what's happened so far. What was that? I'm basing it on what's happened so far. And you haven't as changed at all. When you called in here, you're blaming your life on the horoscopes, on, on astrology, and oh, no, now, no, you're, no, no, now no, you're now no, falling no, hopelessly no, in love with somebody no, else you're going to knock up? No, it was actually helping me through a rough time that I just went through a whole entire year. Sure it was. Now, did you ever discover condoms after that, David? Let me guess. Occasionally. Yes, I did. Well, 100% I, I, I of the time, up. no. After I knocked up a girl, I kind of realized. You kind of realized. So how often do you wear condoms now? Every time. No, no most times. No, every time. Right. Even with the pregnant girl. Mm-hmm. And you're still having sex with her? I was until she broke up with me last night. There we go. There we go. And now you're hopelessly in love with someone else. Uh, to a certain extent, I have an emotional attachment. That's great. Well, you, have, you haven't boned her yet. That's that's the uh, well, then you'll have an emotional attachment. <laughs> that's great. I, right I track, smell, I smell more children in your future. Oh man! There's a trailer park with a space reserved for you. A trailer park? Why? Why do I see all the people in my industry though with nice homes and a uh, a nice check that they take home every week? Again, you know, as far as the foremen go, oh, Jesus Christ. and that's what I'm working towards. I, I look, pal. It doesn't matter what you're working towards. Have you ever accomplished a goal in your life? Um, the answer is no. No, no major goals. No minor goals either. Uh, Unless your goal is to f up your life, I guess you accomplished that one. Well, my one of my goals was to get into the union. I accomplished that. And I don't care what your goals are. You've never realized the goal. I never what? You know, getting into the union was a goal? Well, yeah, it's a hard thing to get into. Really? Well, it was. It, it took me a year and a half. Took you a year and a half of doing what? Sitting around waiting for them to call me up and tell me Ooh, that I Oh, boy, job. sitting around for a year and a half. You really worked it. Yeah, well, you while really... I'm there, I've been busting my ass. They haven't, they haven't laid me I know. $18,000 a year. Still my beating heart. For the first, I've been there for four months, five months actually. Five months. Ever goes up to twenty two next year. Wow! <laughs> and so on and so forth. Yeah, we're laughing our asses yeah, like off said, over after here. After five, after five years, when I'm a foreman, I'll be making thirty five. As far as today, thirty five thousand. Wow, we thirty five dollars an hour. As far as today's pay, thirty five dollars an hour. But five years from now, that could change. Ooh, five years from now. Hang on a second. David, what did you want to say to Tim? Who? Tim, what did you want to say to David? I'm sorry. Oh, this guy is a complete idiot, Tom. What does he think he's going to call in here and tell you he's having a baby with somebody making $19,000 a year, didn't go to college, hasn't accomplished a damn thing in his life? You think you're just going to get your stamp of approval on his stupid baby and his stupid job? I mean, buddy, seriously, man, the only thing you should be flushing out of that toilet and unclogging from that pipes is that baby, dude. Tell her to flush that thing down the toilet because you're going to ruin your life. 
I can't even believe you call Tom like like you're a caller, like you know your little laugh and jokes. Oh, that's so funny, Tom! I completely ruined my life because I'm an idiot. I mean, what the hell do you think Tom's going to say to you? Are you just that stupid? Tell me what to do with the rest of my life. I called for advice, not to be bad mouth. No, you you call you call Tom acting like acting like you listen, like you're going to listen to his advice, man. If you're listening to his advice, you would you would have freaking. Use a condom, or, or you know what I think? I think you had this baby because you're dependent on a woman. You want to keep a woman around, so you go to have a baby, man. You're you're just a woman. That's all you are, man. You're pathetic, anyways. Nineteen thousand dollars a year. What, what do you think you're gonna? Well, where do you live? What what are you gonna live in? You're gonna live in a tent? I mean, seriously, dude, you're a joke, man. You're pathetic. Tom, take me out, Lacey Peterson style, man. This guy's a freaking joke. All right, here you go, Tim. Steve, on the Tom Leggy Show, what do you want to say to David? Hey, David, how are you this afternoon? <laughs> Is he there? Did he hang up? Good question. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing great. What What, what is this kid thinking by not wearing a condom? He's you thinking, know, that would be I want to F thing. up my life permanently. How can oh I my, do it? Holy crap, you know, yeah. You know, does he even know that this kid is his, or is he just going by what she says? Oh, honey, I'm pregnant. You know, let's have a baby. Well, hello, wake up. My God, maybe you ought to go out and get a, a vasectomy. That way you don't have to spread any more kids around that are going to be fatherless. No, yeah, maybe. And we're never going to hear from him. I think he's done. I guess so, Tom. Tom, take me out THX style, would you please? No, nah, we can't do that anymore. we got to cease and desist on that, for God's sake. From George Lucas himself. Anyway, thanks a lot for the call. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. Everybody should listen to exactly what you say, and if they do follow it to the T, then it'll work. Period. That, that's it. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's wide open telephones on the Tom Likas sh- sh- Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Peter on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 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 Yeah, this is uh, Peter. Yeah. Uh, is this Tom? Did you want to talk to Tom? Yeah. Okay, hold on, please. All right, thanks a lot. It's the Tom Likas Show at one 800 800 tom Peter, hello. Hello, is it Tom? Did you want to talk to Tom? Uh, well, whoever. Now, who do you want okay. to talk to? Uh, to Tom. Hold on, please. Tom like his show, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Peter. Hello. Hello. Is this Tom? Did you want to talk to Tom? Uh, who, who am I speaking to right now? Oh, who do you want to talk to? Uh, to, to the person that's on the radio right now. Oh, to Tom? Yeah. All right, hold on, please. Tom Likas Show at 1 800 500 Tom. Peter, tell him. Hello, is this Tom? Did you want to talk to Tom? Yeah. Right, hold on, please. The Tom Likas Show, coming to you from Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM. Peter, hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, may I speak to Tom? Yes, hold on, please. Go 
the Tom Likas Show. The 1-800-5800-TOM. Peter. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, is this Tom? Did, who do you want to talk to? Uh, to Tom. Yes, hold please. Tom like his show, 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. <clears throat> Peter, hello. Hello, is this Tom? Did you want to talk to Tom? Yeah. Hold on, please. Tom like his show. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Peter. Hello. Hello, is this Tom? Did you want to talk to Tom? Yeah. Hold on, please. The Tom like his show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Peter, hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, is this Tom? Did you want to talk to Tom? Yeah. Hold on, please. Do it! What's on like a show? At one 800 800 tom that's our telephone number. Peter, hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, is this Tom? Did you want to talk to Tom? Yes. Hold on, please. Do it! What's up, like a sh- Show. At 1 800 5 800 Tom. Peter. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, this is Tom. Did you want to talk to Tom? Yes. Yes, hold on, please. The Tom Like His Show. I want 805, 800 Tom. Peter. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, this is Tom. Can I ask who's calling, please? Uh, Peter. Peter, hold on, please. The Tom Likas Show, coming to you from the entertainment capital of the universe, Hollywood, California. Oh, looks like Peter hung up. God damn. Get in there, Dean. He's probably trying to call back in. You know what I'm talking about. Tom, Tom, Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom. 1-800-5800-866. Dude, you've given me the roadmap to go over the wall, get in my neighbor's yard, and get my testicles out of a tree. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom like his show. 1 800 5 800 Tom. Peter. Hello. Hello. Yes. This is Tom. Did you want to talk to Tom? Yeah. Hold on, please. Like 
Vegas show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Wide open telephones on this Friday. Peter. Hello. Hello, this is Tom. Did you want to talk to Tom? Yeah, yeah I want to talk to Tom. Okay, hold on, please. Do it! Tom like his show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Peter. Hello. Hello, this is Tom. Who did you want to talk to? Tom. Let me see if I can find him. Hold on, please. Do it. The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Peter. Hello. Hello, is it Tom? Who do you want to talk to? Tom. Let me see if I can find him. Hold on, please. The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Peter, hello. Hello, is this Tom? You looking for Tom? Yeah. Hold on, please. Do it! The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Ask for it by name. The Tom Likas Show. Tell your friends you listen to the Tom Likas show. Peter, hello. Hello, is this Tom? Who'd you ask for? For Tom. Oh, Tom. Let me see if I can find it for you. Hold on, please. Do it. The Tom Likas show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Peter, hello. Hello, is this Tom? Who'd you want? Tom. Oh, Tom. Yes, let me let me go. Um, I think he's outside. Hold on. Do it. The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Peter. Can I help you? Yeah, that's Tom. You're calling for Tom. Who's calling? Uh, Peter. Peter, where are you calling from? Um, L.A. Oh, from L.A. All right, let me see if I can find him for you. Do it! The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, we lost him. God damn. <laughs> Hate to see that happen. Alice on the Tom Likas hey, Show. Hello. Yes. Hi, Mr. Likas. How are you? I'm Thank doing you so much great. For my call. Yes, I did it as a public service, darling. Awesome. I wanted to ask you a question. You said once that you really don't believe that the type of woman that can have a relationship with multiple men and say that it's because she gets really, she gets along really well with them, will somehow eventually get something twisted. Because I don't think that's true. What? I don't, think... I don't understand what you're saying. That eventually she's going to fall for one of the guys or. She'll let one of the guys um, fall for her, and she'll play into it and fall in love with him, too. Generally, but that's what happens. I understand that. But generally, I do believe that there's a handful of us out there because I have met a few individuals. No, no that's not generally, okay? You, you don't understand the meaning of the word generally. If there's a handful of exceptions to the rule, that doesn't mean that it isn't generally true what I said. Okay, so you were speaking in general terms. Well, when I use the word generally, that would generally indicate that I'm speaking in general terms, generally okay, speaking. Well, that makes it clear. Uh, well, well then, I made it clear. I I, it was clear to begin you're, with. I said generally. You're meeting, someone, you're meeting, you are talking to someone who does not fall within those general terms. I, I generally don't care because guess what? If I said this is generally the truth, it doesn't matter if exceptions to the rule call it. It's irrelevant. Oh, you, generally, you, if you generally if you if you fall generally if you fall out a twenty story uh, window and you, you're going to die, some people survive, but generally people die. But everyone's pattern characteristic is totally different. No, everyone isn't totally different. Many people follow fall into patterns. We all do. We all do, and I believe that's seriously the key to understanding. The difference between a man and a woman. We all have our patterns. It's all about finding the individual. No, I don't, I, you just used the word all. I said generally. Yes, but in speaking... Generally general, doesn't mean all. It means generally. 
and exactly. So why do you want to stick with the general? The because general because certain the things are generally God. true. I'm trying to take you beyond the general. I'm trying to I don't, I, Darling, I don't want to go to the white pages and pick people out individually by name, okay, because generally uh, there's millions of people listening, and generally there are very few exceptions to the rule. It, it's a waste of time. Of you know, uh, for example, I was watching. I was watching. Uh, I was watching the Dodger game. I was watching the Dodger game the other night, mm -hmm. and there was a pitcher for the Pittsburgh Pirates who had six fingers on his right hand. And he had six fingers. This is true. They showed him he had six fingers, but generally people have five fingers. Now, should I sit here and talk about the six-fingered people who might be listening? Why should I waste my time? Most most people generally have five. Yes, but exactly. Who cares if some of them have six? It's irrelevant. No one is entertaining. Wouldn't Those you are freaks. So you have a bunch of freaks on your roster? No, there's very few freaks because they're the exceptions to the rule. Exactly. That's why they're freaks. But they wouldn't be on your roster if they weren't that exception. On what, on what, what roster is this we're talking about here? The roster you mentioned earlier. You said you have a long roster then because... Of what? Of female friends. Uh, no, I don't have any female. I have one female friend who somehow squeaked through. That's it. I do not have female friends. Women are there to have sex with. I don't need any new friends. I said friends with benefits. Friends with benefits. I don't call them friends with benefits. I call them uh, lays or booty calls or something like that. Okay. Because calling them friends wouldn't be uh, fair, wouldn't be accurate. And, the, and that one individual, okay? The one is, who is a friend? Right. And the one exception to the rule? The one exception to the rule. What she about her? She makes herself available, right? She makes herself available, right? And that, make, that entertains makes you. Makes herself right? available as what? To you. As what? As whatever you want her to be as opposed to what she wants to be. I don't know what she wants. All I know is that... What you want and she allows you... What does this to have do to do with what you called in about? The fact that, hello... You're, you're, you're trying to say that it's not that wonderful, that it's impossible, but you have one. The fact that, the, 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 fact, the fact that it's possible to happen doesn't mean it's generally going to happen. It's generally not going to happen. Okay, but I and and I'll about, take it a step further. Generally, in fact, most of the time, uh, when you have someone who is an opposite sex friend, it's somebody you find unattractive. And who wants to be on that list? So you're t I thought your show was about entertaining people. And how can you entertain people talking about the general? Everyone knows about Darling, it. darling, it's called broadcasting. We broadcast. We don't narrow cast. We broadcast to a broad audience of broads like yourself. Okay. And we can't, we, cannot, we cannot customize the broadcast to each individual exception to the rule. It's impossible. Oh, no, I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that at all. I was just asking for your elaboration on the topic. I already because, did. Because of the simple fact. Don't repeat I, what you already I, said. I, I'm bored already. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Scott on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Tom, my man. Yeah. You're my hero, bro. I'll bet. Hey, uh, I'm kind of an Elvis fan. I've been listening to your program for a long time. I was just wondering, you never talk about Elvis. He had to be like one of the top dudes like for the womanizing thing, right? One of the top to like, dudes for the womanizing thing? Yeah, he used to line them up, you know, and he'd pick them out. Tell them when, but when, he's been what dead. He he's been dead for over 30 years. I know that, but I, I read books about him. He is now irrelevant. Yeah. <laughs> That's too bad, though, man. He was, one, he was the king of cool, though. Well, 30 years ago. Yeah. You know, we don't, we don't talk about Bill Haley and the Comets on the show. Right. We don't. Chuck Berry doesn't come up very often. How about uh, Tom Jones? Uh, Chuck Berry is still alive. Tom Jones, don't talk about him very often. He's another cool dude. He's old, but he still gets the women. Again, you know, he's he's not at the center of pop culture at this time. Yeah, well, I do pretty well myself, man. I do a lot of singing and stuff. That's wonderful. I get a lot of broads. That's great. Is that Elvis playing in the background? That's me. Well, that's you in the background. Pays to, to advertise. Jesus. The Tom Likas Show.